Well, just last month, the frugal bookstore in Roxbury needed a GoFundMe drive to stay alive. But now, this store can barely meet the demand for books, especially about race relations and black culture. As WBZ's Anaritis Rodriguez shows us, the owners are extremely grateful for the support. At first glance, frugal bookstore may seem quiet, but stay a while. Bye. And you'll notice its owner, Leonard Egerton, busy at the helm, working around the clock to give readers access to books written by people of color. The Kingpins also. 95% of the books we carry are by um, authors of color, whether they're African American, like. Business is booming at Boston's Haitian only black owned bookshop. In the last two weeks, orders have skyrocketed, especially for titles exploring racial justice. It's kept multiplying. Till it was hundreds of orders in one day, till it was thousands of orders in a couple of days. It beyond our wildest dreams that we would ever sell that many books. For Egerton and his wife, this is a good problem to have. Just weeks prior, they were dealing with the economic fallout of the pandemic. In an effort to survive, he created a GoFundMe page. It was really scary not knowing how I would be able to help take care of my family or to take care of our expenses at the bookstore. A lot of people donated because they saw a tweet. Enter scholar Dr. Kim Parker, a longtime frugal customer whose reach on social media guided readers back to Roxbury. And so as much as I could, I just let people know that all the books that you want, you don't have to buy on Amazon. You can buy them here locally. Egerton hopes this moment turns into a movement. I'm hoping that this is a time where people really want to take a good look at what's happening in this country. And this nook on Nubian Square remains a staple in the community. It's a joy being able to have something in a community where we each grew up in. I'm Anaritis Rodriguez, WBZ News, 